Tool Baits family. Um, right, I'm here doing a short video on liquid foods. Um, basically, you've got the, the krill crunch and you've got the liver shot. Um, on both of them, you've got the powders to make up your boilies. What we're going to do over a course of a couple of days, this is not something I can do in one video, but I'll edit it so it all goes into one. Um, we're going to turn the squiddo boilies, the bottom baits, into some powdered baits, which has got all the liquid attractant on it and the powder. Um, these ones have got the krill crunch on them. So we're turning basically this boilie into this so you can see the size difference already so th this becomes more attractant in the water and we'll go we'll go for all that afterwards um let, we'll get started and this is just it, how i do it um so we'll go krill crunch we won't do the liver shot just at the moment <coughs> start off with a bucket you can have a smaller bucket but this is the bucket I use um, and you can do as many boilies as you want at any time I'm going to just do five just for the video purpose okay we start off by using the liquid food in the bucket we've got the five boilies and we just basically coat the boilies in a good helping of them give them a shake around get them coated totally coated in the in the liquid so they're basically like that we'll put a bit more liquid on them so they're totally sticky give them a shake round and get them moving around the bucket it gets easier once you start getting the powder into it but basically they want to be totally coated like so then we get the krill crunch powder which is basically all food items in there again you've got mealworm in there oh there's all sorts in there um, and then just basically just give them a coating of that dip some in like so and then again just give them a move about so you're getting totally coated I find it easier if you can get them shaking and get them moving about it does coat them better Another sprinkle, You're trying to get an even coat of the, the actual krill crunch on them. And basically, they start ending up coated like so. Already, you can see the the food attractant on them is unbelievable and so that's just the first coat and generally what I do with them is I'll stick them in the sun to start drying out but what we do we put another coating on them and see if we can build them up a bit quicker than we normally would I normally take several days to to get a good coating system on my on my boilies and with this you're getting the natural attractant of tor um, with the squiddo which is an awesome bait an absolute awesome bait um, and then you're getting it added with the krill crunch and the liquid food so basically we're back to that stage again we're just going to keep rolling them around I find this is the easiest way to get them evenly coated and to keep the boilies round basically ok 
okay we're getting there we're, that's a second coat now what i would normally do with that now would be to leave that so i'm going to okay uh these are the five boilies that we've been doing so far coated they're dried out i had them on the uh, windowsill for a while so we we'll do another coating system and basically you're just going to repeat the same steps as we did before so basically liquid food plenty on as i say this just adds another dimension to your uh, <coughs> You're attracted in the water when you're fishing these and obviously they're a bigger bait so they attract the bigger fish you shouldn't uh shouldn't get played by the old bream using these they're very big for them well the, the bigger that you make them the, the less chance you've got of having the bream coming into them so basically it's just tip the powder on again get them unstuck get them rolling around in that powder tip some more it's basically just keep building them up building them up getting there slowly slowly let's say the more the more liquid food you put onto them the more krill crunch you put into them the bigger the bait the more attraction sets coming off your bait when it's in the water left for a longer period of time as well um, good for night fishing use these I'll pull some right chunks on them and as you all know there ain't a bad bait from Tony and tour baits it's high quality everything that you see that I've got on the table is from Tony and just all gooed up again add some more grill crunch it's basically just keep repeating this step constantly until you got it to the desired size that you want Testing now. Knock everything off. Just pick that up before. Okay, guys, let me just grab these out. They're going to be a bit sticky. You can see they're getting bigger and bigger. I get a comparison out for you. Again, you can see the size difference already, and that's only like three, four coatings of that. Um, but the key is letting it dry between between the baits between the coats um, that's what I find anyway and again just keep rolling them around and, and they're basically just constantly coating themselves in all the loose stuff that you've got in the bottom of the bucket 
all this is available to buy at Tall Bates. It's a must have in my armory of baits. I use it all the time. And say so I've got the, the liver shot ones as well that have been I've been doing them. And that's an alpha boilie, believe it or not. I'll get a comparison of that. This is an alpha boilie and that's covered in liver shot. And again, all that does is ooze out a traction when it's in the water. The alpha and the squid boilies and the nuttall are fantastic baits. But I'm just adding an edge to it. I'm doing something slightly different to everybody else on the lake. Um, and it does catch me fish. Uh, in all the years I've been fishing, I've always coated my boilies uh, throughout. Not with tour, but you know, um, with the tour products, it's just even easier. This is just fantastic stuff. I used to do just glug my boilies and then mash up um, other stuff to, to coat my boilies in. But this system that Tony has produced. It's fantastic. You, you can't you can't go wrong with the stuff. It is fantastic. Krill crunch guys, liver shot, liquid food system that Tony does is fantastic. It's phenomenal. I, I can't speak any more highly about this system. It is fantastic. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> what carp wouldn't want to eat that? You cannot go wrong. Get on it guys just as i say you've got plenty of time at the moment to prep all your baits you stick these in a, a ziploc bag they stay fresh they stay good for ages I, I keep mine in little pots like this little bait tubs you won't need them, no more than that for a weekend fish you won't need no more than that you know there's about 15 20 baits in there <coughs> all ready to go and I'll keep doing them, you know. I'll come back after a weekend's fish on the Monday, coat up some more, come back in on a Wednesday, coat it a bit more, and just keep coating it. You know, it, it don't take long. It's it's two three minutes out of your out of your day just to go up, give them a quick squirt of the liquid food, sing some powder on top, roll them around. You know, I mean, you can you can do more boilies at any time, um, at one time. It's it's totally up to you. I prefer to do it this way. I get the baits exactly how I want them to look. Um, I keep them nice and round, and I keep the food going on them, and it's equal every time. So, guys, get on them if you can. Um, it's phenomenal. It's caught me fish. Um, that's all I can say. Just get on it. It, it. You won't regret it. Liquid foods. Phenomenal. Cheers, guys. What goes on tour stays on top.